All right, tell me if you guys can hear me now. Testing one, two, testing, testing one, two. Can you hear me now? <laughs> no, that didn't happen. No. But can you hear me? Can you guys hear me now? All right, all right, all right, all right. Sorry for the inconvenience of this morning. Didn't even know. Um, that's what you get when you take your, your laptop that you do everything with and you take it on a roll with you. Because some stuff uh, come back and be all jacked up. But let me get to what I was sorry about the it's three minutes in and sorry about the delay. But so today I'm going to talk about how Black Panther fans should be pissed. They should be mad. They should be dicked off about the information that came out from Captain America, Brave New World. And you know what I'm talking about. The recasting of Thunderbolt Ross with uh, with Harrison Ford and why. And why black people, black people, especially the anti-recasters, got, got you know, uh, uh, filled for the banana in the tailpipe. You guys got the okie dokie. Y'all fell for it and y'all was happy about it. So, yes, I'm going to get into that today. Also, i uh, going to talk about a couple other things, but you already know how I do. The real question is... All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, today, today, this is, uh, I'm not going to lie, and, and, and I wanted to, of course, I always want to talk about stuff, but I worked this, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I worked all week, like all week, and I'm not going to, I ain't going to lie to y'all, a brother a little tired, I ain't going to lie to y'all, I'm exhausted, but, um, I was looking at a couple things, especially with recast T'Challa and with this new, a new, uh, this new news. But, 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 but before I get there, before I get to the Black Panther stuff, because y'all should, if if you if you will understand the timeline, I'm gonna try to break this thing down as much as possible so you guys can understand the importance or why a lot of us were saying recast T'Challa because. They will always recast their characters. And in this stream, I don't want to hear Thunderbolt Ross was a secondary character or none of that. Because I'm going to disprove everything that you guys are saying and how he was a major player and he was way more important than the King of Wakanda. They, he was way more important. So I'm going to show, before I, before I get there, I want to show you the new slot that's coming up for Marvel and um, what they have coming up and why, why, I, why, 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 I believe that even more now, I'm up to about nine. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm up to about 90% that Jonathan Majors is coming back as Kane. Like I'm, I'm there. I'm that high. I'm that, I'm that high. And that's because, of uh marvel studios they're giving out they gave out their slate at uh the uh a cinema con so let me share my screen real quick and i'm gonna show you why i believe jonathan majors has a, a really good shot at coming back as um as kane the conqueror and why September 13th, I mean, yeah, September 13th and a lot of the days that we heard in the citizen is so important. And also, all you guys, sometimes I, I, I look back at the replay at last uh, Friday's video. I'm sorry, Dr. Carpy, I didn't get to you if you're in here or a couple other people. I just did not get to you because I was so focused on what I was talking about. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of y'all was chatting with me and, and I didn't get to you, so I apologize but let me get to this real quick. Let me share my screen. And Marvel Studios upcoming phase five slash six movie slate after the release of Deadpool and Wolverine. So, of course, we got 2025. So, 
the, the, you know, uh, Deadpool and Wolverine is the only Marvel movie that's coming out this year. We already know that. So in 2025, you got Captain America, Brave New World. You got the Thunderbolts. You got Fantastic. And, and that's an asterisk on there because it might not be called the Thunderbolts. You have Fantastic Four and you have Blade. I don't know what's going on with Blade. Who's writing it? Who's directing it? Is Mahershala Ali still a part of this? We don't know. Well, I mean, I know he is, but it is. I can't have Blade be trash. That's one thing I'm not going to We're not going to do that. We're not going to be, we're, we're, we, uh, just like I showed up for Black Panther, I'm showing out for Blade. And I know the reason why there's a Marvel studio is because of Blade. So we need to show up and show out for Blade also. Let me let me do this. Let me uh full screen this real quick. Uh also after Blade in 2026, you will have Spider-Man, the new Spider-Man 4 movie. If we're gonna find out, you know, real soon what that Spider-Man 4 title is uh is going to be. Is it going to be um, a sp uh, let me take the overlay off real quick because I know that's kind of blocking certain things. Um, is the Spider-Man 4 what is going to be the title? You know, or are you going to go to a symbiote saga? A saga? You know, what is that going to be? Uh, then after that, we got Armor Wars, 2026 Shane, uh, Shane Chasers. There's four movies of 2025. Three movies in 2026. Shane Chi, uh, Shane Chi two is coming out. Then 2027 Avengers five, which we already knew that that was called Avengers Kane Dynasty. Now, this is why I'm saying that Jonathan Majors has a chance to come back uh, in that uh, uh, as Kane in that movie. You know what I mean? So, Avengers five is in 2027, the release date. Let's say it's. February. Let's say let's say it's February, you know, uh of 20 uh 20 uh uh 2027. We already went through sentencing. We're already done with that. Even if he files his appeal, his appeal is done. He has 2 years to get back on board in that movie, right? 2 years. In 2027, are we going to really remember Grace Jabari? Are we really going to, I mean, honestly, are we even going to remember? Because it's going to be so much that happens in the next three years. And trust me, it's going to be some shenanigans that happen in the next three years. We got an election coming up. So I already know this is going to be some, it's going to be some bullshit or something. Go on by that time. We're not even going to remember, you know, I mean, we're going to remember, but it's not going to be as deep. You know what I mean? That the name Grace Jabari, we, oh yeah, the one from the mountains. They came down from the mountains and was the biggest villain in Marvel history. We ain't going to really remember that. He's going to be done with all of his legal troubles, all of that. I guarantee you this man is not going to be in trouble in 2027. He could come back, be a major player in that. Then in 2027, we also get X-Men. In 2027, 2027, we also get Doctor Strange 3. 2027, we get Thor 5. So we got four movies scheduled in 2027, right? And then 2028, Avengers Secret War Part 1, Avengers Secret War Part 2. We have time. We have time, you know what I mean, uh, for this to be done. And I know that they don't, they don't forget, but you know what I mean? We gonna let them know we don't give up. We don't give. Let me. I, I'm not trying to cuss. I'm not trying to cuss. But we gotta stop. I, I, I want us for real. Let me get back on. Let me get back on screen. I honestly want us to stop being stop being scared of what they talking about. Flub what they talking about. I'm sick of them. You know what I mean? And always bringing up something from the past. But when I bring up the past, there's a problem. I'm told to shut up about it because I feel what you where you're coming from, Torn. I, I, I super feel that, but I also feel that they need to shut the flub up, honestly, when they bring that mess up, because we could go ahead and bring up how many people, look what's going on right now with that young lady, you know, uh, that was, uh, you know, that they was found, that was found brutally, you know, dismembered, you know, after she went on a date, you know what I'm saying, with a guy, you know what I mean? Are they gonna let? Are, are, are we gonna forget that? 
How many of us still bring up the word Zimmerman? You know what I mean? Because I ain't forgot that. But they'll tell me, get over that. You remember, he went to court, he went to trial, and was acquitted. Just like when they bring up OJ, I'm like, you know he was acquitted, right? In a land where we see what happened with Jonathan Majors in real time, OJ went to trial and got acquitted. Michael Jackson went to trial and got acquitted. Bill Cosby, not so much. You know what I mean? But I'm sick of I'm sick of every time that you know we're trying to move forward. Like they tell us, I'm telling them what they tell us. Yeah, hey, look, wasn't that the past? Why do we got to start bringing up all y'all stuff? But if we if we decide to bring up our stuff, then we complain it. We need to use that same energy towards them. I'm sick of them. I'm sick of they don't dictate. I'm sorry, they don't dictate nothing we do here. Again, they don't dictate what we do here. So we got to start standing. We got to stand on business. You know what I'm saying? When they come around and they have that feeling, then we need to be able to have that same feeling. We need to be able to get that same energy that they bring to us. You know what I mean? I'm tired. I'm not afraid of none of them no more. I'm tired. I'm sick. I'm tired. I'm tired of them. You know what I mean? We try to do we try to do something to move forward, and they want to, you know, like I said, they, they bring up a slave movie. Skip them. Skip them in a movie. You know what I mean? So that's just my personal thoughts. I'm just sick of them. For real. Because, like I said, they don't like they they they'll be quick. Folks will be quick to tell us to, you know what I mean? We talk about the detriments, not just slavery. Not just slavery, but reconstruction. You know what I mean? Reconstruction had a big deal. Or when we was separated and we didn't want to have any dealers with y'all, let us stay in our corner. Y'all came over there and burnt our corner up. That's really the big thing that gets me. Because outside of slavery, we're far removed from slavery, but we're not that far removed from uh, from uh, from, from uh, uh, Greenwood from Tulsa, Oklahoma, you know what I'm saying? From the the you know the land uh the, the the areas like in Chicago. You know, we had a thriving black community in uh where I'm from, where I'm originally from, Kansas City, Kansas. You know what I mean? Uh we're literally we were so close to where the original underground railroad uh was off of Quindaro. It's literally a historical black land. You can't tell but the way that they destroyed it. You see what I mean? That to me was more detrimental to our people, especially my grandparents. My grandmother was born in 19 uh uh was born in 19 was it 25 or 27, but she told me she was good. She grew up on a plantation in Yazoo, Mississippi. That had more detriment to life than even outside of it because when we're trying to make it, you tore it down. So that's all I'm saying. I'm tired, but they don't want us to speak on that because we speak on that. We're whining, we're victimizing and all of that. But we get reminded every day about 4th of July, about all kinds of other stuff in in in, in white history. You know what I mean? And we get and we have to celebrate and stand up for the national anthem and all of that stuff for the sacrifices that white Americans did for here. But the things that black Americans did here, I got to shut up about? Nah. They ain't going to let that ride. And when they talk about the Jabari tribe member, I said, what are you still talking about that for? Ain't that in the past? Let me get off my high horse because I'm over here riding the high horse, just riding the high horse. Now I'm supposed to be talking about what's going on here. You know what I mean? I ain't want to go there, but it's just I'm, I'm sick. of I, They don't dictate me. I'm sick of them. I'm tired. I'm tired of them folks. I'm not talking about white folks. All white folks, you know the white folks I'm talking about. When you start talking about things like this, and they were like, well, he was convicted, uh, he was convicted of assault and harassment. And then you say, well, it was Mr. Beaner, reckless assault, and it was still assault. Do you know the difference between uh, intentional assault and reckless, unintentional assault? Do you know the difference? Hell, you probably don't need, even know the three, uh, 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 the three branches of government. So you damn sure don't know what the law is. So... I'm not arguing with no dummies in 20. I'm I'm sick of them. 
I'm sick of the ones who look like me that want to argue the same facts. Not arguing with no dummies no more. Not. I'm sick of them. You know what I mean? Because there's so much more that we could be doing than arguing with dummies. All right. Let me get back to this. So, with the slight word set, by the time Avengers... And let's say Avengers 5 is a summer blockbuster. Right now, we're in April. April of 2024. That's three years. In three years, just like they did with James Gunn, they have an opportunity to hire Jonathan Majors back. You know what I mean? We have an opportunity to hire Jonathan Majors back. So, that's the way I'm looking... Looking at it, even when I met him and I mentioned, I said, hey, I'm going to be real with you. I think Marvel going to hire you back. And he looked at me and he said, I hope so. But now that I know their slate, it's, it, it's giving more probable cause for them to hire Jonathan Majors back. But you know what I mean? So we got time. We could continue to pray for the brother. You know what I mean? Ooh, excuse me. Continue to pray for the brother, but I believe that there's enough time that's going to pass for him to get his job back. All right, all right. Let's get to let's get to the main topic. Uh, let me get to the let me get to that picture real quick. Oh, this is this is the slates. This is the I didn't I didn't bring this up. That's my fault. I didn't see it in my uh in my thing. So this is what. What Marvel popped up? Uh, I don't know if this is true. Thor Battle of the Gods. I I, I mean, he had a, a problem with Zeus. You know what I mean? So if Bo DeMeo was not on this X-Men movie, they failed. Because he's killing it right now with X-Men 97. And he would be the perfect person to hire on as a writer for the X-Men movie. Perfect person. Got to hire that dude back. Yo, I don't care how much OnlyFans he's doing. I don't care about what does that have to do with me? What does that have to do with the movie? And what does that have to do if he's not harming anybody? You know what I mean? What does that matter? You know what I mean? It does not matter. You know, Captain America, Brave New World, Thunderbolts, Asterisk. I need a good Blade movie. I need Blade to be dope. That's what I need. I need Blade to be dope. I was a big fan of the Blade movies. The Blade Trinity was there, but my boy Ryan Reynolds is in there, so and but it's still yeah, it's not that good. You know what I mean? Uh Fantastic Four. Oh, finally we get normal wars. You know what I mean? Spider-Man 4, Vigils 5, Shane Chi 2. So what do you guys think? Are you excited about this upcoming slate? Or do you think Jonathan Majors has enough time? To be able to get his job back, put it in the comments section below and let me know what you guys think. All right, Mr. Menace is up in here. What's up? Uh, my bad. I didn't acknowledge none of y'all that was up in here. Gray, what is up? Uh, Cornelius, my man, what's up? Azel, what's up? My girl, Wonder Woman, what's up? Uh, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be mad if I said Wonder Woman and you was memory shut up. Uh, Andre, where? What's up? Uh, the Fergusons, what's up? Erica Diss is up in here, what's up? Uh, I said, Azale, you up in here. Speak the Truth is up in here. Uh, let me see. Torin, my man. Uh, uh, why do you think I talk about it? Yeah, because I, I know. I know why. I'm just sick of it. Torin, dog, I'm be honest with you. I'm sick. Sick of them. I'm sick of these. I'm sick of them folks. I'm not gonna lie, I'm sick of them folks. They make me sick. They they oh smash ball. What's up? What's up? What's up? The emancipator TJ, what's up? There's his Spider-Man no more home. <laughs> Spider <laughs> Spider-Man section eight housing. <laughs> Julia Network, what's up? What's up? What's up? Did I get you Erica Dixon? I think I did, but what's up? What's up? Uh, let me see. Is she? What's up? Good morning. Kate is up in here. What's up? What's up? What's up? My bad. Blue Queen TV is up here. I was having some issues earlier. Uh, uh, since I'm here, one. What's up? What's up? What's up? Roberta's up in here. I uh, like I said. I hope the Jab y'all couldn't hear me, but I hope the Jabari tribe member didn't follow me home. Uh, Pam was uh was up in here from Twitter. What's up? What's up? What's up? 
uh let me see tracy woods what's up uh big dog gaming what's up they are so happy about the recasting they refuse to give in about the oh my god i'm about to go in james willis what's up 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 dump dump what's up? <laughs> i'm thinking about too legit too legit to quit <laughs> uh what's up happy adult and adult is overrated day man golly Priscilla, what's up what's up what's hold on wait a minute i just wanted jm to work period and they released magazine dreams there's some things that's going on right now that i mean i don't know no no but i got this is just the feeling that i got it's the vibration that i got i'm not saying he told me anything or not told me anything i'm not gonna say that you know what i mean he didn't tell me jack i said i want to slap people he told me no but danny got an opportunity to do it i don't like that i want to slap people too uh but what's up dude? uh my man dj sincere what's up gord mahan uh 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 mahan what's going on or man Ma mahone i said that probably wrong i apologize uh b smith what's good what's good Oh my God, B! You didn't even have to do that, man. With the fifty, what the, what the, what the, man? Come on, bro, man, dog. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You didn't even have to do that, but man, God damn, I don't even have, man. What, what I, I can't, I can't play homies over holes on, oh, off of that. <laughs> God, leave, man. Oh, uh, damn. Okay, I just gotta hit you with this one. Man, I really appreciate. I really appreciate. Man, damn, man. Thank you for the 50 bomb, dog. That's I appreciate that, man. Uh, I do. Uh Ada, what's up? What's up? What's up? Uh damn, I'm kind of speechless on that, man. You blessed the brother this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um let me get to I know what I wanted to do before I even get to the pitch okay so let me just let me get to that picture real quick hold up that's not what i want to get to that's not what i want to get to where the hell is it oh damn hold on it was this is what i want to find this right here should have people pissed especially if you if you understand where i'm coming again i'm gonna break down a timeline and let you understand why i'm saying this and why this is pissing me off okay captain america brave new world will address harrison ford taking over as thunderbolt raw ross with a cheeky line inspired by iron man 2 sam i have to admit i'm still not used to the new look ross me either they said lose the mustache or lose the election and that's how let me matter of fact let me let me let me take off let me take this off real quick so you can see like, sorry, look, it's me. I'm here. Deal with it. I remember that from Iron Man too. But this, okay. And I'm gonna get to the timeline here in in a second because right there, I'm not gonna lie, piss me off. Piss me off. Uh, damn, man, darn, damn, man. I'm trying to, man. I'm trying to work. <laughs> man, let me put something in the collection plate. Man, Cornelius, thank you so very much for the uh, five dollar super chat, man uh darth what's up what's up i see you up in here what's up what's up oh man now, now uh, what 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 should i play man what, what should i play what should i play matter of fact i got this one for you people call me the fundraiser they call me that because that's what i do i raise funds thank you so very much man for for being the fundraiser you know what i mean thank you so very much man y'all are y'all are blessing a brother this morning and man you guys are amazing thank you thank you thank you uh okay so what's up terrell austin is up in here what's up so this right here pissed me off right now i'm about to break down the timeline so let me just start off by saying by saying this real quick 
because I don't think you guys really understand. So when every time, anytime that I get into a, a recast T'Challa argument, I hear, uh, Andre, where to, wait, come on, man. Can I get through the, God, I mean, y'all are over here, man. Y'all think, man, you guys are amazing, dude. I'm not lying, man. You guys are amazing. Thank you so very much, man. I, damn, Andre, where big I leave, man. I, you know, I'm going <laughs> to play this for you, though. Know. Just mad because your ass is old. Oh, motherfucker. First thing you do is just pick up the phone. Because some people are mad. <laughs> they mad right now. But I thank you. <laughs> I appreciate y'all. Man, y'all over here blessing the channel. I thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. This is blessed. Man, y'all over here, man, blessing a brother, man. I thank y'all. Uh, damn, y'all go. Think, <laughs> I, damn, my train of thought is off. Uh, shit. Okay. Uh, y'all are, y'all are, man, I'm trying to focus, but I can't, man. You guys are amazing. Okay, all right. So, I, did I, I saved this. I think I saved this. So, hold on. I knew I was forgetting something. So I think I got it in my watch later's. No, that was something else. That was something. That was something else. Got me court. Ah, Jesus Lord, have mercy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me. Man, you guys are over here, man. Now you're looking at the world's richest man, and I'm black. Thank you again for the four ninety nine super chat, man. Um, I think yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to uh find our good buddies over at um uh at Screen Crush. Yeah, it was Screen Crush. Give me just a second. And trust me, they were still talking about right now, uh, Jonathan Majors. Wait, hold on. Give me just a second. Give me. Give me just a second, cause Colton Ogburn. Now, shout out to Colton Ogburn. I I I don't have no problem with Colton Ogburn. I really don't. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna eat his his thoughts. But give me a second. Okay, I want y'all to just pay attention. I want y'all to pay attention to the conversation. So now I'm about to share share the screen real quick because I'm about to show show you the hypocrisy from when you have when they have their character to our character. Now I'll give you just a second because I don't want to get any copyright strikes or anything, but I just want to show you just this. And again, fair use. I'm about to use this and cut it, stop it a little bit, start it. You know how I got to do just to avoid the copy copyright. But listen to this. The Brave New World, though. I heard there was a cute little end joke or something when they meet in the Oval Office. Yes, he, he's okay. So uh, Anthony Mackie says, um, still getting used to the new look uh, to President Ross in reference to oh, him not cute. having a mustache. But you know, uh -huh, of course, it's uh -huh. that he's the now playing the character. And you know, right. I again, again, all they did was make sure Harrison Ford didn't have a mustache and he was cool to play the character you know what i mean he was cool to play the character damn y'all over here jesus lord have mercy they uh wonder what uh, jesus lord have mercy i'm not gonna get through thank man y'all over here man thank you guys thank you thank you thank you uh i'm gonna play this for you wonder woman i'm gonna i'm gonna play this for you Thank you so very much. 
Thank you guys for blessing the uh, channel. What's up, uh, Rashad Walker? What's up? Carol Black, man, thank you. Man, God, Lee, boy, y'all. Damn, man. Y'all over here, man. Thank you, man. Y'all. Man, man, thank y'all, man. I don't know which one to play. I done played all of them except for this one. Hey, this, hey, this is, <laughs> oh, <man>. oh, yeah. <laughs> They call me Mr. Beaches. <laughs> if y'all don't know, Boondocks is one of my favorite shows of all time. Michael Johnson, what is up? Y'all over here blessing the brother this morning. Thank y'all so very much, man. God bless y'all. God damn it. Roberta too? Oh. Uh, uh, don't hold music, church. <laughs> bless you. Please don't hold music. No, nah, I, 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 got, I got something for you. I'm not going to play that one. I'm not gonna play that. Well, thank you so very much, y'all. Thank you so very much, you guys. I can't even. Oh man, with the 20, 20 stack, man, you guys are awesome. Uh, what's up, Mika G? What's up? What's up? What's up? You guys are been amazing, dude. You guys, let me. I'm gonna hold the super chats. Oh my god, you guys have been amazing, dude. I'm not lying. But let me get back to this because Jesus Lord have mercy. All right. I've got to say, having Harrison Ford in this movie, it just you know, it's tragic what happened, you know, with the original actor, of course. But oh, William Hurt's a legend. Yes, yeah. he's a legend, and he he played Thunderbolt Ross so well for so many years. But the, to look on the positive side, Harrison Ford really does bring like this gravitas to the movie hold up hold hold up hold up can i run that back can i can i run that back being used to the new look uh to president ross in reference to oh, him not cute. having a mustache but you uh -huh, know, of course uh -huh. it's that he's the now playing the character and you know right. i i've got to say having harrison ford in this movie it just you know it's tragic what happened you know with the original actor of course but oh william hurt's a legend yes yeah. he's a legend and he he played thunderbolt ross so well for so many years but the, to look on the positive side harrison ford really does bring like this gravitas so it's tragic what happened to so it's tragic. Andre Ward, thank you again, man. Just a few words. Recast the child. Thank you for the five dollar super chat. Uh, I want to get I want to get through this real quick. Uh, it. I'm a, I, how much you want to? I can't compare. I can I I can compare movie wise. While I'm, I'm gonna do this. Why Ross? Who people forget was the main antagonist of the Incredible Hulk movie. That was the beginning of the MCU, right? He was the main antagonist, and because they made him Secretary of State and all of that, he's been throughout these Marvel movies. So he was a mainstay. Everybody knew who Thunderbolt Ross was, right? But I wanna, I, I wanna show you, show you. And I'm, is this is not against Ryan Aries and Screen Crush or or uh, Colton Auburn? This is not. Uh, it doesn't have anything to do about that. You know what I'm saying? It has nothing to do about that. I'm not even worried about Screen Crush in that in that faction. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm not worried about them. What I want to show you is that how they talked about Harrison Ford. I mean, I'm sorry. How they talked about William Hurt. You know what I mean? Compared to how people, how how we, because we, a lot of us, you know what I'm saying, bit into the forbidden fruit. You know what I mean? Bit into the forbidden fruit of ah, there's nobody else that could play him. Ah, Chad was the only person that could play him. Ah, but they continue to have their characters keep going. Whether we place them with with uh with Harrison Ford, Woody Harrelson, a uh, 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 a wood with some hair on it, all of that. You know what I mean? All of that. Ultimate fight fan. I yes, I can. Yes, I can. You Thunderbolt Ross was the Incredible Hulk. He was the main antagonist. So you have the main you you have the main character and the main antagonist. What's the difference between the main antagonist and the main character? Nothing, nothing, because they both get top billing, right? And then and, and Captain America, um, Winter Soldier, Captain America, uh, Captain America Civil War. You know what I mean? 
You still had him come in in, uh, 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 in Infinity War. He was there in game. He had just as, what I'm saying is, as a character, had just as much screen time as Chadwick Boseman. Hell, Chadwick Boseman in his own movie was damn, what, 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 was in a coma for half of his movie? While they made Killmonger the main character of that movie. Even though I like Black Panther, it's still a bad Black Panther movie because they took away the main character to be able to boost up the the, the, the American character. If you think I'm lying, go check the timestamps and go check how much screen time Chadwick Boseman actually had in his own movie. Again, love the movie. But if I'm being realistic, I got to call a spade a spade. And they sidelined the main character in his own movie. Check the times. Check the time, how much screen time that Chadwick had. And then they, because they knew, because I, I brought this up, and I it, uh, I, I think I might still have it, because I brought, I brought this up, they were going to take away Chadwick Boseman from the movie anyway because he was asking for too much money. He were at, he was after they after remember after Black Panther he had one point three million dollars some some uh, contracts was trying to get negotiated renegotiated we got to come to a different uh, place in our term and agreement so Chadwick before he died before he had you know before he had cancer and all of that they were going to replace him with Letitia Wright's character that was the rumor Bob Chapek was ahead of Marvel at that time when he tried to renegotiate that contract. Never forget that. Never forget that. So what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, in a business type of, why do you think he was sidelined? Because he asked for the money. Did y'all ever notice why the King of Wakanda was sidelined in in, in Endgame? Now they can say, oh, we were trying to put, uh, we were trying to push the original four, but there's no way in hell as big of a character as T'Challa is in the comics and what he represents in the comics. There's no way in hell he should have been sidelined for that much in Endgame. But because he asked for money, because he wanted to get paid, that's why they did it. Y'all, y'all, you, you, you gotta follow, gotta follow the rich white man. That's what that's what the James Carter of uh, uh investigating is. Follow the rich white man and see where the rabbit hole leads you. Because at the end, there's a rich white man trying to get his cut. And when Negroes normally try to go, matter of fact, not just Negroes, when women try to go ask for more money or just like Scarlett Johansson did, which it was like, uh-uh, part of my contract was not a uh 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 a release uh uh uh, uh what is that call? I forgot it, what the actual name for it is. But they released the movie in the movie theaters and on streaming. You, it's day and day. It wasn't a day and day. They shouldn't have had it. So what did she do? She had to go back to the table, renegotiate the, uh, the contract. It, they did not want to renegotiate their contract. And, 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 since so we talk about T'Challa Jr., there's no such thing as a T'Challa Jr., T'Challa anything. It's one T'Challa, son of T'Chaka. In the comics, there's no such thing as a T'Challa Jr. There's no such thing as Malice being with, uh, having a baby with T'Challa. There's no such thing as T'Challa, you, you know what I mean, planting the seed with someone that he's not married to. That's not what kind of customs. Uh, you know what I mean? And let's be real. Ryan Coogler made this movie... That has nothing to do with any Black Panther movie. Why do you think X-Men 97 is getting so much praise for the writing and all of that? They're taking real comic book stories and telling a great story with it. You're just throwing you're throwing shit on the, on the wall and just see if it sticks. There's no such thing as a T'Challa Jr. There's no such thing as a made-up character. It's a totally different character. That's not a recast. That's a totally different person. My son... Is not me. It doesn't make sense. My son, I die today. My son does not replace me at my job. Because he's not me. This is a totally different person. So T'Challa Jr. shouldn't even, it doesn't make sense. It's like literally the, the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And they had him hiding in Haiti. 
where nobody on the land knows who he is. Nobody has no idea that T'Challa has a son over in Wakanda. Didn't we just see this? Isn't this just a rehash of what we've seen in the first Black Panther movie? That didn't nobody know that Ninjaka, you know what I'm saying, was a uh, was a native of Wakanda. So he gets over there and exercises his blood right and everybody looking at him crazy. Because he's over there speaking perfectly because talking about, hey, auntie. You know how lazy writing that is? But nobody wants to criticize because Ryan Kluger is a black director and all of this and yada, yada, yada. And just because we got black people on screen doesn't make the movie good. The movie still has to be good. You know what I mean? This is why Black Panther would kind of forever failed. Compared to his predecessor, failed. But we don't want to say that because we don't want to offend or we don't want to seem like we're being sexist because uh, he just didn't want Sherry to be Black Panther. Has nothing to do with that. We're talking about storytelling and why they continue to keep their characters, and but we don't. The Ferguson said, I didn't forget about you. Thank you so very much for the uh for the super chat. Uh, for the 1999 Super Chat. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you're talking about impactful in, 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 uh, uh, Chad Wood was more impactful. He was more impactful because black people wanted to see black superheroes on screen. That's why he was so impactful. But to be able to continue to have black people on there, you don't kill the character. You don't, the actor dies. You don't kill the character. Did Paul Walker, uh, Paul Walker's character die in Fast and Furious? Did they have a scene? Let me ask you this. Because they killed this man in front of you. They literally showed you this man's funeral. Killed him in front of you. He died of a mysterious disease. What if you watch a Fast and Furious who in the movies, nobody dies with the villains. But you have a scene where Paul Walker and his friend is, you know, hit a tree and burn up to death. How do you think people will feel about that? How do you think people will feel about that? If they see Paul Walker literally, you know, they, they CGI stunt double it, crash that mug into a tree, and he burn up. And you get to see it for yourself. Just like how we got to see in the first 20 minutes of funeral for Chadwick Boseman. He dies of a mysterious disease. Guess who also died of cancer? Uh, 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 your man right here. William Hurt. That's who, get, yeah, William Hurt died of cancer. May 13, 2022. I told you I was going to pull all of this together. Hold on, let me show you. I'm gonna pull all of this together. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You see this line right here? You see this line right here? In, in May 2018, it was announced that her had terminal prostate cancer that had uh uh metastas is a meta metastasized to his bones on March 13, 2022, at the age of 71, Hurt died of natural causes at his home in Portland, Oregon, just uh a week before his 72nd birthday. But May 20 May 2018, he died. 2022, they already had a recast uh, uh later on that year. They already had a recast already in hand because his story was more important than the King of Wakanda's story, right? His story was more important. Matter of fact, while we're here, let's see what Chad we got. Let's, let's, let's just, we just bring in the dates. Just bring in the dates. 2022, August the 18th, 2022, I mean, 2020 is when he died. Is when, is when he died, Right? But they already told you, you're not getting your character back. We're never recast. Hold on. Bozeman was diagnosed with say, uh, stage three colon cancer 2016. It had progressed to stage four before 2020. He just never spoke about it. 
but he died August the 18th, 2022. Right now it's 2020, uh, it's 2024. And let me ask you a question. Everybody in the chat, because remember, I told you I was going to tie all of this together. Did y'all see a Black Panther movie in the next five years? Did you see anything about Wakanda? Black, I mean, uh, a Black Panther. Did you see anything about Black Panther? Did y'all see anything again about Black Panther? Coming up on the next slate. Nope. You didn't see nothing. You didn't see anything. If you knew there was not going to be a Black Panther 3 for, for many years, recasting them made sense. Not recasting them does not make sense because the character does not die with the actor. It, I've already showed you it was proven. William Hurt had cancer. He died. Unfortunately, that's sad for his family. I'm not saying that to, to be facetious. I'm saying it to look at our every look how the way Colton Auburn them said, well, you know, William Hart, man, it was tragic the way it happened, but man, it's Harrison Ford. Don't y'all say the same? Wouldn't y'all say the same thing? Was like, man, Chadwick died, but man, uh 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 look, insert a insert a uh a actor. That you really want to see take on the role of, of T'Challa. You can insert a role, uh, insert insert your favorite actor, Desmond Idris, uh, 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 Eldis Hodge. You know what I mean? Whoever, whoever you think can be the next Black Panther, and you get excited about it. You see that they? I'm telling y'all, man, y'all not seeing it. You see how excited? You want to see excitement? Look how excited they are. Yaya. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yaya. Yeah, yeah. They could have silent. They could have had the, the you know what they should have did? And this is, uh, I agree with E-Man on this one. Waka Black Panther Wakanda Forever should have took place during the blip. I 1,000% uh, agree with him on that one. It should have took place during the blip. Why did that make sense? Because then you can remove the character for that particular part of the movie. You can say, I have grief and all of that. You can do all of that without writing the character back because they all got snapped back anyway. They all got snapped back anyway. But you see the grins on their face? You see how happy they are? Let me run it. Let me let me just continue to play it before I let you guys go. To the movie. Right. And it just... It felt like a political thriller. It felt like I was kind of hold up. Let me just run it back so y'all y'all you, you you can smell what the rock is cooking. Still getting used to the new look uh, to President Ross in reference to oh, him not cute. having a mustache, but you uh -huh, know, of course uh -huh. it's that he's the now playing the character. And you know, right. I I've got to say, having Harrison Ford in this movie, it just you know it's tragic what happened you know with the original actor, of course, but oh William Hurt's a legend. You uh you it's sad what happened to the original actor, but caveat, but so let's stop it right here because all of that tragedy does not matter because Harrison Ford is now the new Thunderbolt Ross. He died of cancer. Who cares? You know what I mean? Who cares? Harrison Ford is playing a character now. It don't even matter. Chadwick Boseman dies of cancer. We're never going to recast. You know what I mean? We're going to go forward. He was our king. Let's kill him in front of everybody. And you pay a ticket to see that. You know how hard? I'm going to be honest with you. I'm trying to even try to get emotional about this. But I can't help it. You know how you, I, I have not watched that movie since I went to go see it at the movies. Because I cried hard seeing what they did to Chadwick Boseman in that movie. Because they didn't have to do that. You did a whole ABC special and all of that. Remember, I got to go pay $20 in a movie theater and cry halfway through it. And cry at the beginning because I know they didn't have to do that. They used your dollar and got paid profiting on that man's death. And y'all talking about some T'Challa Jr.? Flop a T'Challa Jr. No disrespect to the actors or whatever. Flop all of them. 
Nate Moore, Ryan Coogler, Kevin Feige, all of them. Because they don't have no problem getting their characters back. But ours, who's been in the comics, who was a black representation for us, done forever. That hurts. I don't care about it. That hurts. Why does it hurt? Because my son had to sit up here and be like, we ain't getting no more T'Challa no more. Who didn't get into any kind of comics until he seen T'Challa to the point where he named his dog T'Challa. And I'm not supposed to feel a certain way. While they're grinning and giggling about somebody else getting into the role. The role that was made for us. Gone. Is it is it malicious? I'm not saying anything wrong with Screen Crush. What I'm saying is. They continue to have their characters. Why we have to suffer. Wake up. Wake up. Christopher Reeves died. Still Superman. Even when they killed the character in the comics, they still brought him back. The Joker. He ledger dies. Still more Jokers. But we have to wait. Now we don't even have a slot for a Black Panther movie. If this is the hill you want to die on. No disrespect to what Screen Crush is doing. That's not being malicious. What I'm showing is the hypocrisy. That's what I'm showing. The hypocrisy for when we got our characters, for when they have their characters. If you don't see it, it's not for me for you to see. But I'm going to show you the hypocrisy. Whether you see it or not, Ain't got nothing to do with me. So. But then I, I'm, I'm just going to say this, kid, before I wrap this up. Hey, Beast Smith, I see you. No, no, you're not. Thank you so very much. Let me uh, let me find your super chat real quick. I thank you so very much. I, I, exactly. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I need to I need to take a breather. Thank you again. Y'all been so, so kind. And again, this is not an ultimate uh, uh, ultimate fight fan. It's nothing personal against you. But I'm seeing the hypocrisy when it comes to our character that Jack Kirby said, uh, I had a black friend, but he was a comic book reader, and I got all these black readers, but no character for him. So I created T'Challa for you. For the black people who were seeing all these stereotypical characters on screen, I made one that was the anti-stereotype. And all I see is, well, we got T'Challa Jr. Be, it's almost like, here, nigga, be happy. Be happy with what I give you. You got a black Captain America now. You got Monica Rambeau. You're, 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 there's Miles Morales. Why can't I have them all? They get to have all of them. They get to play in their toy box. But you get to break my toy, throw it in the trash, and I don't get another one. And I'm forced to play with yours. Man. Anyway. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in to another episode of the Dre Mac Show. This is passionate for me because, again, I got to see my son enjoy the things that I enjoy. Just for a moment. But is Shuri is still there. But what is Shuri doing? What is Shuri doing? They sideline. If they were going for, think about like an ultimate fight fan. I'm not trying to pick on you, but look, look, think about it like this. Think about it like this. You made Shuri the Black Panther, right? You had her in this movie. She's fighting Namor. All of this straight from the comics, right? Because she fought Namor in the comics, right? And then what is she doing? Where's the black character doing? Hell, Monica Rambeau ain't even named Photon. What are they doing with the black characters? Everybody's happy that John Brunthal's coming back as Punisher, but where's Luke Cage? Where's Blue Marvel? Where All I'm saying is, where's our original black characters? Stop blackwashing these characters and bring us our stuff back.
That's all I'm saying. All right. Let, let me, you, Jesus, Lord. I'm not picking on you, brother. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. This is just a passion for me because I see the bullshitty that goes on. Yo, the sign is real simple, B. It says wrap it up. Wrap that shit up, B. All right, let me get up out of here, man. Again, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of The Dre Mac Show. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so you can never, ever, ever miss one of my videos again. Until next time, I'll holler at you guys later. Peace and Bob Hire, y'all. Y'all have a good rest of your money. Don't forget to come back 7.30, blurred A, I mean, 7 o'clock, blurred AF, PM, you already know what it is. Central time, eight o'clock Eastern time. Where is my outro at? Let me get up out of here. Wait a minute. You're telling me the video's over? What? Huh. Okay, I guess so. If you have came to this portion of the video, thank you so very much for sticking to the end. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you never miss one of my videos. And if you really want to, you don't got to, Go ahead and follow the social media links that's down below. Until next time, I'll let you guys later. Peace and Bob Hire, y'all. Y'all take care of y'all so.